guys, it's Hey Heart. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. It's Gigi Heart. H A R T E. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gigi Heart. Welcome back to my newest video. And I have been getting a lot of requests on how to do splits. How do you get your split? Um, why can't I get my split? I'm getting a lot of that in the comments, questions, and all that stuff. Well, today's video, if you have not already guessed, I'm going to be showing you how to do a split. Remember guys, this takes years. I've been doing splits for six years now, so that's why I know how to do my split. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started with this video. Okay guys, you can simply follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is swing our arms back and forth while we're standing. And then you're going to drop down and try to touch your toes. This is stretching the back of your calves and like the back of your legs. So you should feel it right there. And try not to bend your knees or less you won't get the stretch in. You can also then grab your elbows and rock back and forth and swing. And then bend your knees and straighten. And then you can bend your knees again and straighten. And then just swing some more. And this is just to get the blood flowing through your head and stuff. Then simply bend your knees and slowly roll up. We are now going to get on the ground and stretch out our wrists. So you're just going to simply roll your wrists and you can put your fingers so they're facing you and stretch them and do little walks with them like I'm doing here and you should feel this and then you can also do what I'm doing right here where you put your fingers to the side and you roll over them and you roll over it and then you roll over it and then you hold it there and that should you should really feel a stretch in them and then you can roll your wrist again. We are now going to go into a butterfly stretch. So you're basically just going to put your feet together and your goal is to try to press your knees down to the ground. And you can just do what I'm doing and alternate and bring your legs up and down. And then you can go down and you wanna to try to get your back flat and you wanna to try to touch your toes. And you can also push down on your legs so they try to go down. And then you can come up and just press. And I'm acting really weird because I was listening to the music, but not this music that you're listening to now. You are now going to go into a pike position. So basically you're just going to bring your feet in front of you and it's almost like you're standing and you're trying to touch your toes. Now I'm just facing the side so you can see me better. And you wanna make sure you're completely straight. I'm a little crooked for some reason. I just noticed that while I was editing the video. But your goal is to try to get your back flat and you're gonna try to get it flat and try to touch your toes. And you want to try to get your chest to your knees. And then once you can't do a straight back anymore, you can just then curve over and just stretch. After you have done that for two to three minutes, you can then just shake out your legs. This next one is a lunge, so you basically want to bring your knee straight forward. I was facing the side so I can show you. And then you can just rest your knee on the floor in the back. And you're just going to stretch over and your goal is to try to get your hips down to the ground. But you never want to be like this. You never want to have your knee, you never want to have your knee under your chest. You always want it to be out farther so that way you actually get a stretch. You then want to straighten your front knee and you want to go over down on top of your knee and just stretch there for like about a minute. 
You can then come back up into a regular lunge, and then you're going to bring your back leg up, and you're going to pull it, and you want to feel it in your leg, and make sure that you keep your butt down. I know that sounds kind of weird. If you want more of a stretch, grab it with your opposite hand. And don't forget to do it on the other leg or else you're going to be uneven. Five minute break. Break is sadly over, but the good thing is we're close to our split. So now you're going to do a straddle. So you're basically just going to bring your legs out to the side. I turn side so you can see what it looks like. And you want to hold good posture and stand up. Sit up straight, I mean. Now go to your left, and then go to your middle, and go to your right, and then middle again. Make sure when you're in your straddle and you go down to the middle, make sure this doesn't happen and your knees don't turn in because then you're not getting a stretch and it's not the proper way. You want to make sure your knee stays up to the ceiling and you want to go down. You might not be able to go all the way down but just make sure that your knee is up to the ceiling. You can also now go into your straddle and hold yourself and you want to get your hips over top of your legs. Um, don't go backwards because then your hips over, aren't over top of your legs. Personally, I like to lean on my elbows. And then stretch out your legs or you can do it the funky way I'm doing it. Guys, guess what? It's time to do our splits. So there are two ways you can do it. You can go into that lunge position that we did and then slide your front foot forward and just kind of ease into it. Or you can stand up and slide down into it and put your hands down on the ground. This is what the split looks like from the side. When you're doing your split, you want to make sure that your shoulders are straight forward and not crooked and that your hips are facing your leg and aren't to like the side. So you want to make sure that your back leg is straightened as much as possible. This is what it looks like from the back. Guys, don't be discouraged and give up if you cannot do it. Some people are really good at their left, but can't do it on the right like me. Or some people are really good on the right or and can't do it on their left. Also, some people just can't go down because it hurts a lot, but that's okay. Just make sure that your front leg is always straight. I'd rather you have your back leg bent than your front leg bent. Okay, guys, that was it. Trust me, if you do this five days a week and take a break on Saturdays and Sundays and you do this every day, trust me, you will get it. So this is what it looks like from the front side and back. And when you get good at it, you can start going over your front leg and your back leg. So I wish you a good luck. Okay, guys, that was it. As you see, I have lots of energy because I am very well stretched. And I feel good. My legs feel like a rubber band. Let me know if this helped you. Please comment down below when you get your split or if you're close to your split. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you, 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 in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.